Just an, another little bit of evidence that I'm recording for um, the case I'm making in my autobiography, autobiogra- autobiographical ongoing journal against David Saint Singh and Jorge Camacho Rivera and Jeremy Edwards is, um, here we go. I, I went in here to put in a new alarm uh, to remind me that just a little less than an hour from now I'm meeting with my doctor. Um, and I keep meaning, kept meaning to go in and record this on my alarms. This isn't even all the alarms I had in here. Um, this is a newer phone because my old phone that I had for roughly the first half of the three months that I was working on Cedar Island, um, that fell out of my pocket and smashed, but good. It was already cracked screen and then it really smashed and I couldn't see anything on it. So I had to get this phone, um, uh, sometime in November roughly like halfway through November 2022 when I was working at Cedar Island Ranch. I got it from the Verizon store in town in in, uh, Beaufort, Moorhead area. And that one had even more um, alarms on it, actually. I was still in the process of um, putting in some alarms, and some alarms I decided to leave off because um, they just weren't worth it but when I first started the job I went in and put in like I don't know 20 alarms to make sure I didn't miss anything so I woke up at the very least um by 6 30 a.m so you can see the first one I labeled a lot of them (laughs) the wake the fuck up cat every day every day every single day even uh at first for we did this for maybe like two or three Mondays Jorge and I tried to work something out where it was like uh, maybe one of us, maybe we'd get a chance to sleep in a bit if like every other Monday, one of us would take over, would just do breakfast and the other one got to sleep in, but we didn't keep that going for very long. I think just because I don't know about him, but I know that I was already set into my rhythms of sleeping and waking. Um, and so it didn't matter that I could sleep in. I couldn't, I still, I still woke up the same time that I would typically wake up a bunch of vehicles going past. So uh, it was just like, what's the point? I'm awake anyway. I might as well go feed the horses. <laughs> um, I, that was actually pretty early on because I hadn't even moved out of my the first lot that I was in when we were for like the two to three Mondays that we tried that. <laughs> um <clears throat> And so, yeah, so I was up, and a lot of times, a lot of days I was up at, like, 6 a.m., even, like, 30 minutes before my first alarm would go off. I had a 6.50 a.m., so that one was, this is, like, I had, um, again, I had more alarms than this on my last phone. But I had one that was properly, like, for a 7 a.m. feeding, because sometimes we would have to feed them breakfast at 7 a.m. and sometimes 8 a.m. It depended on if we had an early morning ride. Um... So I had, uh, basically, I had alarms set for about 10 to 15 minutes before everything that we might have to do for the horses. I had other tack-up times and ride times in my last phone, um, those alarms. I had, so I had alarms set for 15 minutes before every feeding. So that's for the two different possible breakfast times and the lunch and the dinner. And the dinner times had to change because obviously as the sun goes down, we have to change up ride times and stuff and feeding times a bit. Um, so you can see if I like turn them on, then you can see them better. And it got to the point where it was annoying sometimes for people. Like I turned off some particularly the ones that were like at the time. So I made, um, I made alarms that would go off at the exact time that, you know, there was a feeding or a tack up or a ride. And I had alarms for about 10 to 15 minutes beforehand to remind me that it was coming up. So it got to the point of where like, you know, my alarm would go off for the 15 to 10 minutes beforehand and then I'd go over and then my other alarm would start going off while the phone's sitting in the, uh, bar and office and I'm already in the middle of my task and so that was uh, got to be very annoying for me and even like Jorge commented on it even um um like just friends uh locals and people that I would go hang out with because occasionally my phone would go off like say we had a ride and then the ride was canceled and I managed to sneak some time in to like go hang out with somebody and then my alarm would go off because it'd be like oh remember do this do that 
And they'd be like, what the F is going on with that? Like a bunch of people while I was there remarked on the alarms in my phone. Because I had 20 some alarms in my phone for my job to make sure I didn't miss anything. All right. So just to show you guys all that, that's, that's how um, seriously I take my jobs and not wasting time and such and, uh, you know, keeping my word and trying to you know, be there on time, on schedule. So I'm going to turn these off now because I don't feel like hearing them if I don't have to. But yeah, I have to make sure I don't turn off the one that, <laughs> that I just made up there. So just a little bit of evidence, just, I mean, I guess I'm going to go in and like delete these eventually, but I've been holding off on that because I've been meaning to make the video. That, and like, again, a lot of people around there have heard my alarms going off at random times durant, throughout the day. And I've always given them the explanation, oh, yeah, it's a feeding time. It's something else or like a tack up time. But we don't have the, the, um, we don't have the uh, ride or whatever. Or it's feeding time soon. I got to go or something like, like it was always for the horses. So anyway, all right, just a little bit of evidence.